Terrytown, NY. The flavor of the year at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, Wasabi. A Pekingese named Wasabi won best in show Sunday night, notching a fifth ever win for the unmistakable toy breed. A whippet named Bourbon repeated as runner up. Waddling through a small but mighty turn in the ring, Wasabi nabbed U.S. Dogdom's most prestigious prize after winning the Big American Kennel Club National Championship in 2019. He has showmanship. He fits the breed standard. He has that little extra something, that sparkle, that sets a dog apart, said Wasabi's handler, breeder, and co-owner, David Fitzpatrick. Show judge Patricia Trotter said simply, what's not to like about this dog? He stood there as though he was a lion. Fitzpatrick, of East Berlin, Pennsylvania, guided the Peak's grandfather Malachi to the Westminster title in 2012. Still, he said, I just don't always think lightning is going to strike twice. How will Wasabi celebrate? He can have a filet mignon. And I'll have champagne, Fitzpatrick said with a laugh. The three-year-old Pekingese, meanwhile, was pretty nonchalant about the whole thing, his handler said. Indeed, Wasabi laid down on the dais, occasionally looking up as if to see what the fuss was all about, as Fitzpatrick spoke before a cluster of reporters and cameras. It was a poignant win that came after one of his co-owners, archaeologist Iris Love, died last year of COVID-19. Besides Fitzpatrick, the dog is also co-owned by Sandra Middlebrooks and Peggy Steinman. Wasabi the name derives from his mother, Susie came out on top of a finalist pack that also included Matthew the French Bulldog, Connor the Old English Sheepdog, Jade the German Short-Haired Pointer, Stryker the Samoyed, and a West Highland White Terrier named Boy. Altogether, 2,500 champion dogs entered the show. It underwent big changes this year because of the coronavirus pandemic, moving out of New York City for the first time since the show's 1,877 founding. This year's show was held outdoors at an estate in suburban Terrytown, about 25 miles north of where the top ribbon is usually presented at Madison Square Garden, and it happened in June instead of February. In a sign of the pandemic times, some handlers wore masks though vaccinated people were allowed to go without and the show was closed to the public. It's a miracle that they even had this show, Fitzpatrick said. Stryker went into the show as the top-ranked U.S. dog, with more than 40 best-in-show wins since January 2020. And Bourbon had also won the AKC National Championship. The show was bittersweet for Jade's handler and co-owner, Valerie Nunez Atkinson. She guided Jade's father, CJ, to a 2016 Westminster Best in Show win and lost him last September, when the seven-year-old died unexpectedly of a fungal infection. The good part about it is, he's left an incredible legacy, said Nunez Atkinson, of Temecula, California. She said Jade had my heart from birth. Boy had come a long way to Westminster all the way from Thailand, where one of his owners was watching from Bangkok, according to handler Rebecca Cross. He always makes us laugh, said Cross, of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. For many dog owners, just making it to Westminster is a thrill even for baseball's all-time home run leader, Barry Bonds, who was cheering on a miniature schnauzer he owns with sister Cheryl Dugan. The dog, Rocky, didn't win his breed, but the slugger said he was proud of Rocky simply for qualifying for the champions only show. We won because we got here. That's all that matters, Bonds told Fox Sports. I've been to a lot of playoffs, and I've been to the World Series, and I've never won. But for 22 years, I kept trying. The 56-year-old Bonds holds baseball's career home run record with 762, though his feet was clouded by allegations of steroid use he denied knowingly taking them. While semi-final and final rounds were held in a climate-controlled tent, earlier parts of the competition unfolded on the grass at an estate called Lindhurst. Douglas Ty, who handled a Brittany named Penny second place in the sporting group, says he just goes with it if his dogs get distracted by birds and other attractions in the great outdoors. Let them have fun, said Ty.
of Hope, New Jersey. That's what it's all about. That's what it's about to Cole Brown, too. At age nine, he showed a bull terrier named Riley on Sunday alongside his parents, Curtis Brown and U.S. Air Force Capt. Samantha Brown, and some of the family's other bull terriers. I have a lot of fun with this sport, said Cole, of San Antonio, Texas. Every single time I go into the ring, I have a smile on my face. 